Hello everyone, welcome back to part 9 of Cars of Video Games. So, where are we at today? Um, we are at, I think, yep, Sally's Wheel Wheel Sprint. So let's go ahead and get started. And after this we will unlock Tailfin Pass. Okay, so Okay, so yeah, Sally's wheel well sprint and after this we unlock um, Tailfin pass and we can explore that area Yeah, so we are on our way to completing this game. All we have is two more cups left. And then that's it. That's the end of the game. And of course, I'm going to have an extras video where I show off the extra characters and such. Like I said, well, with the extras video, I'll go ahead and play as Doc in one of the races. And then I'll just show off the extra concept art and stuff. It'll be a short one. Um... As for my next Let's Play, I decided to keep it a secret. Uh, what I'm going to do, as I, I've said before that I have some some options for what I want to do, but I haven't totally decided on what I want to do. But I'm going to keep my, uh, my next Let's Play a secret. And what I might do is, uh... Well, I do record these videos from my phone, so... I may or may not do this, but I might do a, um... That, but I might do, like, YouTube has, like, a premiere system, and I might go ahead and do that. Although, to do that, I'd have to export the video to my laptop, because I can't export videos, or I can't premiere videos through my phone, which I don't really want to do that. So I might, I may or may not do that. I'd like to, uh... I'd like to do it that way, but we'll see. It's kind, of, it's kind of a lot of effort to do that. I might just... Yeah, I wish you could do premieres on... Oh! Yeah, okay, I run into that quite often when, I, when I'm driving around here. Um, I'm gonna see if you can, like, do some type of premiere on... Oh, this is a pretty hard jump to make. You gotta be uh, boosting at the same time and make that jump. But it gives you a good amount of points whenever you, uh... Whenever you... Do it. But, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what you guys think. Here, I, I don't normal. Ooh, big lightning. I don't normally um, do this, but write in the comments if, uh, if you want to have a premiere style opening or do you want to just. Because a premiere would. Well, it would take me a lot longer to upload. I know it's only for the first, um, for the first episode, but I'd have to export it to YouTube, give it a, or export it to my, uh, my computer, give it a, give it a thumbnail. Wow, I'll never forget this barren landscape <laughs> that is Radiator Springs. <laughs> yeah, game wasn't really showing um showing off its graphical capabilities there. I 
Okay, so we got the Tail Fin, tail fin Pass Circuit, Monster Truck Mayhem, and Delinquent Road Hazard. So, we're right here. Let's go ahead and do the Tail Fin Pass Circuit, since we're right here. And then we'll do something else. We'll see how much time we got left. But we'll just, just whatever's closer, basically. Um, I know the Monster Truck Circuit's in Radio Springs, and Delinquent Road Hazards it's in... Every time a breaking news bill, every distance a dangerous corvette, Ranger Green, my fellow racing aficionados. Uh, we're gonna race a what? Um, but, yeah, um, I know Delinquent Road Hazards is in Tailfin Pass, so I might do that, and then Monster Truck Mayhem. And then that'll be on its way to the next speedway. So, like I said, we're getting there. What, camera? Okay, I don't know why the camera was positioned in front of me the first time. Um, okay, okay, I don't really know what, what pushed me there. Um, But yeah, like I was saying, it's like, I don't know, I, I think I might just upload the parts normally through my phone. Because like I said, I'd have to, you know, put up a question mark, so I'd like it to, you know, if I am going to be doing a premiere, I'd like it to be a Let's Play that's, you know, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see what I'm going to do. Woo! Finally got some competition in this race. But not for long. Oh, this guy took, oh, this guy took the short, actually three people took the shortcut. Surprising. Yeah, it's just kind of funny. I remember my original Let's Play of this. I, I, a lot of the parts are lost, um, which I don't regret, but... I remember, I, I think it was like, like 22 parts. <laughs> um, Cause I only had like, like eight to 10 minute videos. So, and also I specifically remember one of those parts near the very end, my phone ran out of space and I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to uh, stop the part, delete some things and then continue off where I left off with the second part, which meant that both of those parts were only like five minutes each. Yeah. But now I have like, you know, kind of a regular thing. It's like 18, you know, around 20 minutes. That's what I like parts to be. I don't particularly like going, you know, higher than 20, but I don't, I don't want it to be like 10 minutes either. I mean, 15 minutes is a good medium. I guess we're at eight minutes. I'll stop it here, and we'll, we'll make it like my old parts now. So, let's do um, Delinquent Road Hazards, which is over here. And... Okay, so I'm here. Okay, so I think I just gotta go straight, and I think I'll... I remember having to... Every time I play this, I remember having a really hard time trying to find this mission... It's in, like, the very outskirts. Uh, it's basically the opposite of the entrance. It's on the other side. But I'll try and follow this white... This white dot, and hopefully I'll get... Whoa! Okay. Hopefully I'll get to it fairly quickly. There we go. It wasn't too hard.
knife and dice me with your toy work? Hey, read it somewhat, subwoofer. Relax, I'll settle this. Me, you, you and Peter Pan. Oh, we could throw in one of your food canisters. Seriously, do you really need that much food? Okay, let's do this. Um, so if you like these characters, too bad. They appear in this race and one other. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, they're gone. And they, they are gone from the store. I mean, yeah, I'm glad they're here. Um, I think these characters were like, well, I don't think, I don't think these characters were ever meant to be like, char reoccurring characters. I mean, they had a small, small role in the film. I really don't think they were ever meant to be characters that kept on reoccurring, but um, I think fans seemed to enjoy them, so they started popping up in a lot of merchandise and in this game. And I think the next game, actually. I think the International also included them. Yeah, this, this stage has a lot of tight turns. But yeah, this is where we get our last boost upgrade. Which will make our boost last like five seconds, which is great. Um, five to six seconds. I think. You know, I'm not sure on the exact times, but yeah, that's good. Oop, good skip. I think it's, I think it's just a problem with 360 emulation. Sometimes it skips, I'm not sure. You know, honestly, I was watching the Scott video on console emulation. Or not console emulation, but, um, Backwards Battle Games. And I remember him talking about the Wii Backwards Battle and Wii U. And saying that, like, oh, you know, it's not that, it's not that great. Man, Wii emulation on Wii U is awesome. That's my, like, that's my way of playing Wii games. On Wii U. Um... It's so good. It's it's really good emulation, uh, console emulation, and also the games look like they pop. I mean, they look ten times nicer than they did than they ever did on the original Wii. Um, especially you can notice like with games like Guitar Hero. Oh man, it becomes like it it becomes something that was really washed out to something that's just like really crisp and really nice. I highly recommend the uh, playing Wii games on the Wii U. And there's no snags, like the 360, I mean, every game works, which is nice. And you can even use the original peripherals, because, you know, just use the USB. Good stuff. Really glad they put that in. They're, I mean, it seems like they were really trying, with the Wii U, they are really trying to phase out the Wii. They were really wanting to kind of just take the Wii out of the equation, you know, sell your Wii for a Wii U type thing. But, it, yeah, it didn't work. You know, here's a... Oh, wait, I just want to check. Are we still recording? Yeah. Here's a... Here's a pretty funny story. Um... I mean, you know that term, um, maybe after all this is over, we can have a huge laugh about it? <laughs> um, that's what I felt when, when this happened. Uh, I was really young, and I kept on bugging my parents for a Wii U. Over and over and over again, I kept on bugging them. Um, to the point where they got so annoyed, they're like, okay... If you sell all your GameCube games, you can get a Wii U. Now, of course, back then, I didn't know any better. Um, you know, um, I <laughs> I wanted a Wii U really, really, really badly. Um, it's so funny because back then I had Mario Party Four, Kirby Air Ride. Uh, Mario Party 7, um, 
Godzilla Straw Monsters Melee, SpongeBob Battle for Kini Bottom, re, uh, SpongeBob Battle for Kini Bottom, Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah, and a lot of good games. I was I was not collecting GameCube games, but it was my well, it was. I mean, if you know anything about this channel, when we when I started out this this channel, all I had was a GameCube and a 3DS. It was my pro, you know primary console, so I had a lot of games for it. Sonic Heroes. Um, Sonic Riders, SpongeBob the movie game, so on and so forth. Um, and of course, now I'd say no. <laughs> I just either wait it out until I could buy one on my own, or um, do something else or buy another console instead. Um, but back then, I did it. And I, you know, I mean, it's obviously now there's you know no, you know no bad tastes. I mean. But definitely, if, it, if, if I were to change it, I would have kept those games. Because Mario Party 4 is now outrageously expensive. Luckily, I bought back 7, and actually Mario Kart Double Dash, I actually kept that one. Without my parents knowing. Um, I like, I mean, Mario Kart Double Dash is still in my top 5 favorite games of all time. It's so, you know, nostalgia driven. I love that game. So I, I kept it. And I, and I still have my original copy. <laughs> Don't regret it. Um, yeah, still have that original copy. But yeah, I've uh, over the years I've bought back. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Um, I bought back Spongebob, bought back Mario Kart, oh, I also have Rayman Arena, which I bought that back too, bought back Sonic Hero, I, I bought back a lot of the games, but Mario Party 4, still don't have Kirby Air Ride, I still don't have, um, I did buy back Godzilla Straw Monsters Melee, and turns out it was a broken one from GameStop, thanks GameStop, thanks for buying me a broken copy, um, or thanks for selling me a broken copy. And then I only found out it was broken. It's one of those things where, like, GameCube games, GameCube games, Wii games, they'll do this a lot, 360 games sometimes, where it'll only be broken at a certain point. So Godzilla, I didn't know it was broken until I got so far in, and by that time I couldn't, I couldn't return it. It, you know, I already waited too long. It was one of those things where I bought the game, played it for like 10 minutes, and then said, I'll play this again. <laughs> and then I didn't play it for like two months later. Yeah. Anyway, so we're at 18 minutes, so I think that's enough for today, so I will see you guys later. Oh, that's my finger. Whoa.